is not to represent the outward appearance of things, but their inner significance by Aristotle. I am damn sure that you are going to be the witnesses of his statement in our RRIS. They have integrated the radiance and reference that they have for education in a profound way that resulted in their hard work, creativity, connectivity, collaborated in their center to release such a wonderful production of the info regarding the topics that are given to them. Meghalaya, as the name means, the abode of clouds. Nevertheless, it holds the majority of hills in the geography borders. Shillong is the capital of Meghalaya that is the most urbanized city of the state and is also known as the Scotland of East. Meghalaya believe in different legends about their tribes like the Trahis, Giantiers and Garos. They believe their forefathers belong to Tibet, hence their nuances are a blend of Tibet and Northeastern. This state has the maximum number of regional languages in all of India. It is the largest of the seven sister states in actual land area. 26 major tribes and 100 sub-tribes reside in the state even today. Uttar Pradesh continued to be the central to Indian politics and was especially important in modern Indian history as a hotbed of the Indian independence movement. The art and craft of Meghalaya are renowned all over India. The city of Shillong is dotted with scouring markets for bamboo products that are amazing. You can find Tibetan carpets, shawls, honey, bamboo shoot pickle, accessories made of bamboo, all inspired by their tribal artwork and more. Kanpur is the key center for the leather and sugar industries. Farukabad is the hub of textile printing. Kanoj is the hub of the perfume industry. Maulina is a village in the East Kasi Hills, district of Meghalaya state in northeast India. It is notable for its cleanliness and also known as Asia's cleanest village. The highest rainfall receiving region, Moor Syndrome, is in Meghalaya. The climate is highly hot and humid at the lower altitudes and in the valleys covered by swampy dense forest, particularly in the eastern section. The rainfall of Arunachal is among the climate of Uttar Pradesh primarily defined as humid, subtropical with dry winter type with parts of western UP as low semi-arid type. The climate is highly hot and humid at the lower altitudes and in the valleys covered by swampy dense forest, particularly in the eastern section. The rainfall of Arunachal is amongst the heaviest in the country. The wildlife of Arunachal is equally rich and varied. Elephants and tigers abound, especially in grassy foothills, and the leopards and jungle cat are quite common. The white brown jippon is found in Tirap and Lohit districts, and red pandas are must deal in the higher ranges. All three states are in variety of flora and fauna. The flora of the regions includes almost all kinds of plants and it can be said that around 12.8% geographical area is covered by forest. One state of the country will connect to other states of the country on annual basis and both will promote the rich tradition of each other through events like song and dance festivals, food festivals, book festivals, tour and travel, literacy events and many more. People in the country will know about the tradition, culture and practices of different states of the country. Besides this, will enhance the understanding of the culture and bonding among the people. Also, it will strengthen the unity of the country.